How's it going tubers? It's me AML. Welcome to my video of the Sony BDV-C2100 Sony Home Tears System. This is this one right here. It looks pretty slick to be honest from the green bits at the top. But anyways, they're here. Well, you're here to basically uh, find out the settings for this thing. Um, th when this thing comes out of the box, right, it's on some stupid settings, to be honest. I don't understand why they put on some stupid settings. So we're going to get rid of that. Audio settings, you're going to go and put it to uh, sound, go to sound effect and clip, clip, put it to sound mode on, guys. I know Dolby, Dolby Pro Logic sounds flipping amazing. DTS Neo 6 Cinema sounds like something like Alienware or something. But seriously, you need to turn it to sound mode on. I doubt you got anything... If you guys are pros at sound systems and you know Dolby Pro Logic and Cinema and all that, uh, what they do, right? And if you've got devices that support that, then go ahead, do whatever you want. But for normal people, put sound mode on, guys. And once sound mode is on, right, you guys obviously got the home theater system so that all four speakers should be uh, working. If you want all four speakers to be working and, um, you know, to be uh, basically producing this full sound surround, right, you... On the remote, you're going to have to press, once you've changed that setting that I just told you, on the remote, right, let it focus a little bit, come on, focus, you're going to press the sound mode plus button. Once you press the sound mode plus button, right, and you're going to put it, it's going to have loads of other options like auto, movie, music, digital. Digital is the best if you listen to music, and for some odd reason, right, demo, air, demo sound, Demo sound is the best for basically sound, home, uh, sound surround. I don't understand why it's called demo sound, but it is the best for basically games, movies, everything. I've tested all of these. I've gone to the core and tested them while standing next to each speaker, my uh, uh, my sound surround, my uh, subwoofer. I checked it literally, guys, and I found that the demo sound is the best if you want all four speakers to be blasting music at your full sound surround range. Once you've set that up, the other settings that I will highly recommend is by going to, um, is it speaker settings? Where is it gone now? Is it in audio settings? I think so. Is it in audio settings? Yes, audio settings and then speaker settings. Go to speaker settings, right? Make sure you're, it's on standard if you want it. Only put in on all front if all of your speakers are at the front. However, my speakers, all four of them are literally surrounding me. So press standard. Distance. This is all up to you guys, right? I am literally, this is from basically the chair that you're sitting on to the sp uh, your speakers. So my front and the right speakers are literally two meters away from me. So I have put that as two meters. Center speakers, 1.5 meters away from me. My um, surround, uh, surround of the back speakers, they're 2.5 meters uh, at the back. They're slightly further, they're, I think they're about three meters further away from me. But my perfect preference is I put them 2.5 because I think they sound much more better because the back speakers get, the more further away you put the meters, the more uh, delayed the sound you get from the back. Because obviously, when the aeroplane flies around you, it's going to get a bit delayed depending on where the other speaker is. Super far, one meter away from me, right? This is all got to you. Uh, the reason why I pulled up this setting, don't copy mine, just change yours and make them sure that they fit, you know, your, uh, uh, your basically your ears what your ears can hear what uh, sound you think is the best make sure you change this because if you don't change this then uh, you know it's going to be on all on zero and you're not going to get the best of the sound level is another major thing that's going to make things right i've put the front two to one decibel uh plus one decibels center speaker to two decibels centers because the center speaker is more to do with the detail the speech so i sent to the two surround bottom i sent it to five decibels this is because I prefer my back surround speakers to give me much more louder sound so I can hear them. For some odd reason, the surround speakers are always the quieter and you want them to be the more noisiest so that you can hear behind you. For example, if you're playing Call of Duty and you've got a guy camping behind you, or if you're playing Fortnite and you've got people crawling behind you, and if those are on high decibels, you'll be able to hear the footsteps from coming from behind you. Subwoofer is on 6 because obviously, dude, the subwoofer, you want it on maximum power so that you can, uh, uh, you know, it'll blast you away. Especially when I'm playing Call of Duty, I get so many jump scares with this new system. And that's mostly it, really. Once you have that set up, 
you are good to go do a, do test tones just to make sure if all the speakers are working make sure you are using the hdmi arc option the hdmi arc option only um activates if your tv sports hdmi arc and if you're using this specific sound system and obviously this sports hdmi arc use that and you're gonna get the best sound guys and you're gonna get every basically everything plugged inside the tv you, the sound's gonna come through the sound system no messing about no yms you can see a bit of yms here but not as much as if i use any other cables HDMI, uh, HDMI arc is the best way to go guys make sure you use that and if you ever do use that then make sure you change the settings to HDMI arc it's gonna be uh, audio output to speakers and HDMI and uh, yeah and make sure you also have HDMI um, what's it called now uh, see, see, I keep forgetting dude it's gonna be here somewhere um, come on don't do me like this dude it's not here I think it's in HDMI settings yeah, that's it. Control for HDMI on. Make sure that's on. And make sure the other option, audio return channel, is on auto. Dude, come on, focus. Make sure it's on auto so that, you know, it, it, it detects the return channel and it, it adjusts accordingly. So hopefully, change the settings like I told you. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these settings and how they affected you. Thank you for watching uh, AMR. And don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. How, uh, this is not a fact, guys. It's my opinion. It's my, basically, the way how I hear, hear things. Everyone here has different ears. Everyone hears differently. So, I think these are the best settings. Try my settings if you like them. If you like them, please make sure you write down in the comments below that you liked them and why you liked them. And if you didn't like them, write down why you didn't like them. So, I will, you know, maybe I can help you out a little bit. Thank you for watching once again. Don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Peace out, guys.